Hello everyone and welcome to my cam studio tutorial. This is a tutorial on how I record with cam studio So if you're looking for technical help, this is not the video for you uh, Anyway, go to camstudio.org to get this program. Just keep scrolling down scroll down until you get to these links right here and Then get the cam studio 20.exe file if you want to you can try out their beta uh, it seems to work pretty <clears throat> excuse me, pretty good, but uh, it's a beta, so you never know, you might come across some problems that are unexpected, like the 2.6 beta would work well for me, but it might not work well for you. So just get the 2.0 uh, for the meantime, unless you want to try out the beta. And along with that, get the Cam Studio lossless codec, which is right here. Get the .exe file, the Cam Studio codec 14.exe file. And if you want some technical help, go to their forum right here, the support forum, which is the link here, as well as the frequently asked questions for it. So let's get to how I set up Cam Studio. Okay, if I want to record some game footage, I would go to region, then select fix the region, like what I have right here, and then change the width and height to match the game window of the game that I'm playing. Do not record with Cam Studio in full screen, ever. It will not look good. It'll be very choppy, very laggy. I have never heard of a person that could record in full screen with Cam Studio, so always record in a window. It just requires a lot of system resources, and it'll probably make playing games nearly impossible. Anyway, I always make it two pixels less than the actual size of the game window. Like, I'm going to demonstrate Cave Story, which is 640 by 480 in uh, windowed form. So, I made it two pixels less. So, I'm going to drag this up to the... Yeah, something like that will do. And the reason why I do two pixels less is because it gives you a little bit of slack so that you don't get, like, little white borders off to the side, like something like that or something. You get the idea. Um, and that's basically how I record games. And now I'm going to show you the settings that I use to record pretty much everything. Okay, now for Cam Studio settings. Go to Options, Video Options, and make sure that that codec that you installed with the executable file is selected here, the Cam Studio Lossless Codec 1.4. And I forgot to realign the window there, but yeah, there it is. And the quality slider here doesn't matter in the least. It doesn't use that quality slider for some reason. Anyway, now you want to set your frames per second and milliseconds. Very likely, if you have, if you just got Cam Studio, your the default settings for this, and I keep pretty much everything at the default except for this stuff here. This is what I'm going to show you now is the playback rate, the capture frames, and the set keyframes values right here. Um, this is your frames per second. I always have it set at 50 and capture frames every 20 milliseconds. Why would I have it set at 50 instead of the standard like 60? Well, that's because these two values right here have to equal 1000. So let's get the calculator here and let's just do 1000 divided by 60 and you get a really awkward number and you can just keep going down the line 59 58 50 <clears throat> excuse me 57 56 55 etc etc and you won't get that and I closed ca cal the calculator too early there but if you get to 50 <laughs> I shouldn't talk a light type well click 1000 divided by 50 frames per second you'll get 20 so that's your value here this number is your frames per second and multiplied by this number that's your audio basically audio and video to keep them in sync they have to equal a thousand when multiplied together and I just match this number to this number here it's, it's basically saying that all the frames that it records is important now go to configure and then make sure that it's at, it, this is set at 1. I believe the default is set at 6, but I have it set at 1. I want faster speed because I don't get that much frame rate, but if you want a higher quality and you can get good frame rate, um, just keep it at 6 or even 9. <laughs> but I would doubt that uh, most computers can handle recording with this thing because as you see, even recording in... Uh, 638 by 478 right now I'm only getting 19.6 frames per second which is still pretty good I guess it's still smooth enough um, if you want to 
try and squeeze out more frames per second, you want to go to the program options, well, options, program options, and recording thread priority, and then change it to, uh, what, well, shoot, I gotta move this window up here. I'm recording in a smaller area than I uh, uh, kind of expected. There we go, that looks a lot better. <laughs> options, program options, recording thread priority, and uh, the higher, I mean, the further down you go in this list, the higher the priority of this. Um, but that'll also make other programs slow down as well. So I don't recommend that you use anything above normal unless you got a more powerful computer. And in that case, you're going to get a higher frame rate anyway. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I record with Cam Studio. I, I would just hit the record button and then start recording depending on the region or fixed region, which I'll show you more in depth a little bit later. Never use full screen. That is going to lag like crazy. And uh, the tools, uh, annotations and video annotations, that stuff is all real time and you're not going to be able to do that if you're, you know, talking over a microphone, which reminds me, have a microphone plugged in and the options, record audio from microphone. Ah, I forgot to mention in the video options here. What you want to do is aim to keep your file size under one gigabyte. Supposedly Cam Studio has a two gigabyte limit, um, but I can't seem to record more than one gigabyte with, without it corrupting. So that's also another reason why I changed the frame rate down from the 200 frames per second it's automatically set at down to 50. So that means I'll get a lot less file size compared to the huge, huge file sizes that I would get if I was recording at 200 frames per second, and it's not going to record at 200 frames per second anyway. It'll just increase the file size, which is just absolutely useless to you. And it's also very hard to edit a video that's 200 frames per second, because most video editors only expect the standard 30, 60, or something like that frames per second, somewhere around that eight, uh, area. That's just the general things, and also the keeping it at the fastest on this encoding options thing also reduces the file size and it speeds it up. That's seriously it. Everything else is set at the default. Ah, one more thing I forgot about the audio here. So you go to the options and then you go to audio options, audio options for microphone. If you have any sort of desync in your video and audio, just tick the use MCI recording box. Everything else over here I keep at their default settings. Uh, the view tab, this is basically this button right here. Uh, I always have it open like this just so I can tell how many seconds I've been recording at and stuff like that. Um, like for instance if I'm recording a YouTube video I typically don't like to go over 15 minutes so I'll stop it when it gets to 900 seconds, so I'll just keep it open like that. Otherwise, there really isn't much benefit to keeping it in a more compact view, unless you have, like, very little room on your desktop. Arg! One more thing! <laughs> Go to Options, Cursor Options, depending on whether I want to show the mouse cursor or not, uh, is what I put it in this options here like if I want the yellow highlights around the mouse cursor I'll make sure that this box is ticked if I want the cursor to show while I'm recording I'll make sure that this is ticked if not I'll just have hide cursor and strangely um, if you click hide cursor um, you still have to turn off the highlight cursor I don't know why otherwise it'll still show the highlight it's weird but anyway that's how I configure the cursor options uh, when I do gameplay I always hide the cursor uh, when I do tutorials like this I'll always show and highlight the cursor anyway now it's time to show you how to record Boop. all right now when you're ready to record with cam studio all you have to do is just click the record button I should uh, add that I'm in the fixed region mode right now so when you're in that mode you'll see this square up here, just uh, wherever you have the resolution set on the uh, fixed region settings, and wherever you put the square is where you're going to be recording, like so. So I'll just record this for a few seconds and stop it, and uh, when you stop the recording, you then have to name it. Do not remove the .avi extension, but do remove the uh, asterisk, otherwise it won't work, and I'll just name it something like D, and then I'll just save it, and here's your video in the Cam Studio Player. You can also play it back in the Windows Media Player if you want to. Okay, so I'll just record this for a few seconds. You hear that? I'll just turn it up for a little bit. Eh. 
So, so I'll just record this for a few seconds. There we go. That's your recording. Now if you want to do it in the region, all you have to do is click the record button and this time draw a box around the area that you want to record. It's just like using the paint tool and then let go and then you're recording just like so. When you want to stop, just click the stop button and just save it like you did before. I'll just save right over the DDD. And then let go and then you're recording. And just that's like basically so. how I you record with Cam Studio. <laughs> That's basically how I record with Cam Studio, excuse me, I was kind of getting in the way of myself there with my speaking, but whatever, that's what happens when you talk over your own talking. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you later.